Hey everybody. So, I wanted to talk a bit about, well, a couple of things. First and foremost, I wanted to talk about the cues that we sometimes get to slow down, either from the universe, our higher selves, our environments. <clears throat> and I also wanted to talk about how panicking and pessimism, to some degree, um, can be adult indulgences that we make for ourselves. Now, if we have anxiety and issues of that, you know, th there's obviously uh, more factors involved. So I don't every I don't want everyone to think that I'm just sort of obliquely attacking or making any kind of judgment like that. So that's why I'm saving that till I finish the uh, the beginning, where I qualify what the hell I'm talking about, and then we'll get um, cues to slow down. I've been noticing a lot with the last uh, week and a half, and even in my own life. I have been sort of going non I tend to have this issue, you know, this this tendency to load up on a bunch of uh, artificial energy, uh, caffeine, things like that, and then just go or, until I crash. That's been sort of my way uh, for most of my adult life. However, um, I've been noticing or looking at it in a different way some of the obstacles that I would normally disregard as, you know, this this reason to get angry, this, you know, what is wrong with the world? Why are, why, why are we driving so slow if we're all trying to go to the same place? Why is so-and-so procrastinating this push, this kind of whatever? You know, why is this taking so long? Why is this going so slow? Doesn't anyone know how to answer the right questions? You get what I'm saying. I've been noticing in my own life that when things get stressful, when things are, when, when my own body, my own unconscious mind is desiring a break, things will slow down even where my conscious, you know, I guess you could say conditioned mind would um, deem it inappropriate, inconvenient, and so I will end up in that traffic jam, or I will end up in a situation where my internet goes out and things aren't working. And I've noticed, as far as that is concerned, um, you know, I don't react to that the best way possible. <laughs> I really don't. Um, to use an example earlier this week, um, there was an internet outage. I was uploading our, our forecasts for the week overnight, and there was an internet outage, and um, I had no opportunity to really get that started early in the morning. I had to go straight to my day job. And I was getting already frustrated, already angry with that. I was mad about the fact that I didn't get a whole lot of sleep that night. Uh, traffic was terrible. Work went really slow. Yada, yada, yada. And I, know I caught myself in the panic or in the stress of anticipating the worst possible outcome, which wasn't even that bad, by the way. Um, but I was letting myself think about, okay, so... My videos are going up late, my video files obviously got corrupted and they needed to be re-uploaded. People are going to get mad, I'm going to get a bunch of comments that I don't want to address about where is this, why did I forget that, how then that. And it got worse and worse and worse, and the more stressed out I got about that, the more things started to slow down around me. And I was thinking that maybe this was happening twofold. One. I was not doing an adequate job actually create, keeping a high vibration because I let myself slip into a very uh, animal uh, rushed mind. Two, I was also basically not actually understanding why this was happening. I sort of realized, okay, maybe I manifested this. And this is maybe perhaps a, an instinct cue for me to slow down. Um, even earlier today, I actually got called out for my day job, and I got to sleep in, which is fantastic. And I was very happy for that, and I was talking to some people I was doing readings for, you know, and I was a little, I thought, hmm, maybe there's something here to this. And then a part of me was also saying, you know, no, 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 I needed to slow down. So maybe we should think about how we actually look at the delays in any of our endeavors. Perhaps we're actually being saved from making fools of ourselves by being delayed. This could happen at work. This could happen if you are trying to get somebody to perhaps engage you romantically. And it may be premature um, in the grander scheme of things beyond what you can foresee. This could be something that, you know, you do not necessarily need to pile on your plate at this moment in time. And hey, guess what? Your higher mind is kind of saying, we're going to slow this down. And the more you do not pay attention, the bigger the cue to slow down is. You know, to the point where you can't drive anywhere and all of a sudden you're 
called off from work. And it's just kind of like, okay, no, 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 you need to take a day. You need to take a day. You need to take a day. Here's a day. Well, shit, I wanted to go to work. And that is something to really think about, really pay attention to when you are being cute to slow down. You might actually notice that if you went with the flow of that, um, things would turn out a lot better than you expected. And the reason I say that is because how many times have we rushed, forced, contrived, and tried to expedite said, you know, goal, endeavor, perhaps, you know, again, maybe it was premature, maybe it was this, that, or the other thing, and completely missed it, you know, wrecked it. Didn't, it didn't quite turn out the way we were hoping to make it plan. Maybe it hadn't matured yet. We took, you know, we, we, it's base, it, it, our, we were trying to eat uncooked meat, essentially. Or perhaps, you know, we took the, uh, we took, you know, we took the pie out of the oven before it was finished. Took the car out on the road before the engine was fixed. That kind of thing. Really check and see when you have cues to slow down. And take the time to slow down. You need to be at your optimum mental spiritual, emotional, and physical best to be any good for the things that you're trying to achieve. If you are going to achieve them, realize that a lot of deadlines that we set or that we see are those we set ourselves. We feel like we're being late for. You know, there's a, there, there may be deadlines at work. There may be deadlines here or there. But the ones that make us feel like we have to get it done right now when we're off the clock, and the girl or the guy that we like is not even in our presence, you know, stuck in traffic. Why worry? Why freak out about that? Get back in the moment. Get back in the moment of slowing down, being stuck in that place. And don't panic about it. It's a cue to slow down. Your mind is racing. You're out of control. You probably won't do with something that is actually constructive in the design that you are trying to create for yourself. And panic, I've noticed itself, stressing out like that, is not the same as venting. You know what I mean when I say venting. You get angry, you call up your friend, and then you're all of a sudden bitching up a storm. They work it out with you. You just need to get some stuff off your chest. Panic is a compounding issue. Stress is a compounding issue. Stop anticipating and start participating in what's going on around you. Instead of anticipating the worst, or the annoying, or the silly, or the stupid... And it's more a matter of being able to realize when you are just being told to slow down and relax. You are not in the right headspace. If you have to take it to an extreme, tell yourself you're not well and you need to go take care of that. But only do that if you're going to take care of it. You really have to calm down. Especially when the universe forces things to come to a grinding halt for you. And it can happen a million different ways. And sometimes you have to ask yourself, why do you want it right now? Why does it have to be right now? What is, what, is the, what is the thing about instant gratification? And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that instant gratification, it's not about being greedy and Western-minded. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have this paranoia conditioned if we don't work on it. That if it doesn't happen now, it's not going to happen at all. And suddenly that fear of rejection, that fear of being no good, that fear of failure starts to come out, these irrational paranoias and all this other stuff, and then we go back into panic again, that vicious cycle. Observe the cues to slow down. Participate and don't anticipate. That is what is the ideal here in this situation. Now planning your strategy, you know, looking ahead, things like that. That's great. That's great. But you don't want to be that, that graveyard of information. It's like you get all the knowledge, but it doesn't do you any good because you don't apply it. Knowledge doesn't become power until it's applied. It makes me think of these so-called magicians and sages can't even take their own damn advice. All the power and the keys and secrets of the universe could be locked up in a library downstairs, read every book, but there's no participation. So what's the point? At that point, you're just living off of stolen wit, hypothesis, and again, it's these ideas are just kind of stuck. So take the cues to slow down. 
don't bother trying to get anything else until you actually are ready to participate. And when you're participating, do not try to anticipate constantly what is beyond your control. I love the stuck in traffic metaphor because it just makes so much sense. Now granted, if I was at the point where I could telekinetically jettison everyone off the highway, I would have at least considered it. Yeah, but that's not necessarily what I would probably do anyway. But it's really important to, you know, again, start participating, don't anticipate. Get, find ways to get yourself back into the moment. You know, panic is an indulgence. And so is pessimism. Save yourself the trouble. And just make sure that you are actually calm and collected. I'm going to hammer it home. Take the cues from the universe to slow down. You don't need something breaking because it was overworked. Talk to you later.